writing some statements in order to help you in this moment to harmonize with what you want you could say things like I'm having clarifying moments and I realize that I'm really on the path because look how wonderful this was in all of these ways and I don't need to be any kind of hurry I can give the universe all the time it needs to take me on all the wild goose chases that my resistance allows I can accept that that's a resistance spot with me I can give the universe all the time it needs to take me down all the trails that I can allow myself to find it taking me to in order to get to where I want to be and in the process every time I follow a hunch or an impulse because I'm in the receptive mode every time I follow it I get closer to oh hear this not closer to the end result I think I want but closer to having released the resistance that is in my way can you hear that closer to with every experience you have that's why you want to bless the rascals because they help you leave off the resistance pieces like peeling the layers on an onion little by little by little until suddenly or not so suddenly you stand resistant free and then you get an impulse that takes you right to what you're looking for did you hear that it was so good it was so good we want to say it again so that you can hear it more clearly so you get the picture your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to everything you want very clearly knows but your inner being is not considering the fastest straightest route to get you from where you are to where you want to be because there are so many pleasurable twists and turns in the journey to help you to discover and be satisfied by so many other things that are in your vortex you see what we're getting at so if your intention is not to have your inner being lead you to the love of your life but if your intention is to feel as happy as you can feel now and as good as you can feel now and as good as you can feel now if you're willing to pay the awful price of happiness <laughs> with no ulterior motive other than you want to feel good and you want to be in the receptive mode if your desire if your dominant desire if your one and only desire can be I want to be in the receptive mode 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 so that I can follow the trail and enjoy the trail enjoy the trail enjoy the trail it's lovely that you've put resistance all over your trail it's lovely we love that the mountains in this part of the world are there because you have no straight shot roads to anything <laughs> you have to wander through hills and valleys and up, up over and down under you have to experience the incredible light show that your world is giving to you as you're down in the valley and up on the sunrise you see what we're getting at you don't want to go directly from where you are to anything you want to go on this wonderful journey that little by little you're paving the roads you're paving the roads so that it's not an unpleasant journey it's not an arduous journey it's not an impossible journey it's not a frustrating journey it's a beautiful journey moving around beautiful places and beautiful things and beautiful conversations and beautiful insights all on the way to the happily ever after that matters right now and then the next one and then the next one and the next one so you say inner being never mind the scenic route take me directly there and your inner being says you're the one who put the mountains on the way <laughs> we don't want to flatten out all the mountains we'll just knowingly with such wisdom and precision guide you around all of the resistance and along the way you will release anything that is in your way some might say that it's resistance or in this case a mountain that I'm hungry right now but we know that when you sit down to eat that hunger unless it's extreme will have been a benefit to you because it sharpens your appreciation of the food that you are eating without the contrast you couldn't even see anything contrast is necessary in everything that you are about contrast sharpens your ability to focus contrast helps you to choose what you want 
Contrast is your friend, not your enemy. Near misses are your very best friend because it sharply helps you to identify, oh, there's a piece that's in my vortex that clearly is important to me that I haven't been considering. What is it? Why does that matter to me? You see what we're getting at?